Lawrence Fishburne is an American actor, producer, and director known for his memorable roles in films such as The Matrix, Boys in the Hood, and What's Love Got to Do With It. Today, we will discuss things you still need to learn about him. Fishburne was born in Augusta, Georgia, the son of juvenile corrections officer Lawrence John Fishburne Jr. and Hattie Bell, Nay Crawford, a junior high school math and science teacher. He relocated to Brooklyn, New York with his mother when his parents separated. Famed actor Lawrence Fishburne studied acting at the esteemed Lincoln Square Academy in New York, where he obtained his training. The institution, founded in the 1950s, was well known for its demanding training curriculum and was visited by many of the biggest names in the entertainment business. Although the school closed in the 1980s, Lawrence Fishburne and other successful former students have continued the Lincoln Square Academy's legacy. Did you know Lawrence made his debut in the acting world at just 10? He was given the lead in the drama In My Many names and days. Two years later, he made his television debut with a recurring part on the well-known American soap, One Life to Live. Early entry into the entertainment business paved the way for Fishburne's successful career, a career spanning more than 40 years that featured parts in movies, including The Matrix, Boys in the Hood, and Mission Impossible 3. Promise me you'll stay, I'll tell you. Next up, at the tender age of 13, Fishburne made his debut in 1975 with Cornbread Earl and Me. As the start of his renowned acting career, this was a significant turning point in his professional life. The 1975 movie was a coming-of-age tale about a young African-American child who must deal with the harsh realities of life in the inner city. Pay the bills, put food on the table, and put clothes on your back, you understand? Both fans and critics admired Fishburne's performance, which helped pave the way for his eventual career in Hollywood. Fishburne was also famous for the iconic gap between his teeth. I'm very interested in speaking with you about Fishburne has refused to change his appearance despite offers to have it filled or corrected, making it a distinguishing characteristic of his career. Lawrence Fishburne refused to change his teeth, but he did change his name. That's right, Lawrence was initially known as Larry Fishburne. He changed his name to Lawrence in 1991, believing it was better for his professional career. Lawrence Fishburne received the Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play just a year after changing his name. He got the award for his performance in the drama Two Trains Running. He became the first African-American actor to win the Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play, thanks to his emotional and dramatic portrayal of the character of West. His victory was a significant turning point in Broadway history and was evidence of his extraordinary talent and commitment to his art. When you hear the name Lawrence Fishburne, you probably think of some legendary performances, like his performance as Morpheus in the Matrix trilogy, or his career-launching role as Furious Styles in Boys in the Hood. But even many movie enthusiasts might not be aware that a very young Larry Fishburne participated in one of the greatest movies of all time. Now, there's a job that they are very interested in speaking with you. Fishburne was only 14 when he was chosen to play the bold and violent soldier, Mr. Clean, in Francis Ford Coppola's surreal Vietnam saga. Young Larry lied about his age to get the position, which put him on the cast list among actors like Marlon Brando, Robert Duvall, and Martin Sheen. It was a transformative experience for the team, not least because the infamously problematic production took so long to complete. Later, he reflected, It was the beginning of my understanding of cinema. It was the beginning of of my understanding of the world. But what other movies were Fishburne cast in during his teenage years? The teenage actor experienced a significant breakthrough when he was cast in a film of the quality of Apocalypse Now. He also appeared in 1987's A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, as a hospital orderly, so his early career wasn't all about prestige projects. Here is another iconic role that Mr. Lawrence played. In the 1980s, Fishburne co-starred with Pee Wee 
Dee Herman in the children's television show Pee Wee Playhouse. In this scene, the future Morpheus is the pink-shirted, big-hatted Cowboy Curtis, hanging out with Pee Wee and a cast of puppet characters, including a talking cow. He was also seen rocking a mullet. Another person participating in the production was John Singleton, a young, aspiring director who worked as a security guard and PA on the set. He wanted Paul Rubens, aka Pee Wee, to read a script he had written. Every day, John would ask Paul, have you read my script yet? Fishburne later recalled. I'm so sorry, Paul would say. I haven't got time. That script became Boys in the Hood, a classic film about young men coming of age in gang-torn Los Angeles. After becoming friends with Fishburne on the Pee Wee Playhouse set, Singleton handed him a significant part in the movie, paving the door for Fishburne to become a legitimate Hollywood A-lister. If we are talking about Boys in the Hood, let's talk about the age gap between the son and the father. The connection between Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character Trey and Fishburne's character Furious Styles, who Fishburne plays, is one of the main plot lines in Boys in the Hood. Given the seven-year age difference between the two actors, it feels authentic. Did you know that Lawrence Fishburne also made history? Well, with his phenomenal acting skills, we can only expect the best from him. Lawrence Fishburne starred in Othello in 1995, alongside Kenneth Branagh's Evil Iago. This was the first time a black actor portrayed the part in a significant Shakespearean tragedy adaption. Previous high-profile adaptations included actors like Laurence Olivier and Orson Welles, who wore heavy makeup in all-out blackface. Next up, you probably didn't know that Lawrence Fishburne also left a last impression in Steven Spielberg's critically acclaimed film, The Color Purple. His outstanding portrayal of the character The Overseer gained him praise from critics for his short yet impactful role. Fans of the film have been thinking about Fishburne's portrayal of the character for decades, since it was so potent. Known for playing the iconic character of Morpheus in the Matrix trilogy, Lawrence Fishburne has starred in a large number of TV TV shows and movies. In all three of the show's iterations, he played the part of Dr. Raymond Langston in a recurrent role on the CBS television drama CSI. He was nominated for a Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Television Series for his portrayal of the forensic pathologist. Let's go back to Apocalypse Now and the intriguing tale of how a young Lawrence Fishburne saved the life of a future movie star named Emilio Estevez while filming the movie. Estevez nearly drowned in a lake when visiting his father, Martin Sheen, who was filming a scene in the Philippines. Fishburne was fortunately there to whisk him away to safety. Amazingly, it took Martin Sheen decades to realize what had transpired. I would have gone up and hugged and kissed him and thanked him, but I didn't have a clue, Sheen later recalled. The legacy of Lawrence Fishburne is one that will live on for many years to come, from his iconic roles in the Matrix trilogy and Boys in the Hood, to his work with nonprofits and public service initiatives. He has established himself as a powerful symbol for young people from all walks of life. He would leave behind an admirable legacy that will continue to resonate with future generations.